Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is install and activate some plugins. If you go to the plugins tab, you'll see that there's some plugins here and it says at the top inactive plugins. And in order to activate them, what you need to do is just click this link here that says activate. And if you've got a few that you want to activate, then you can just click the check boxes next to them and group activate them. Now, WordPress comes with two plugins by default. The first one is called um, Akismet, which is an anti-spam plugin, and it helps to protect uh, your blog from spam comments, etc. Now, you only need to activate this if your blog is getting comments on it. For example, if you're using it as a blog where you allow people to comment. If you're not using it as a blog and there's no one to comment, then you don't really need to put that in because the only way that people could spam <coughs> wouldn't be there anymore. Excuse me, my voice is really going now. Um, in order to activate Akisma, you need to have an API key. So if you don't already have one, you just click on this link, sorry, and it'll take you to get an API key. And you just sign up for a free account with WordPress, who are the makers of the Akismet plugin. And your key will be emailed to you. I've already got an API key, so I'll activate this by just clicking on the link. And when it's activated, it goes green. And if there's any further instructions, you'll see them up the top here in the highlighted area. So it says it's almost ready, but I've got to enter this key which is um, a series of digits, so I'll just put that in now. And you only need one key uh, for your account, so you don't need to get an API key every time you start a WordPress blog. And now if we go back to uh, plugins, we can see that Akismet is activated. Now the other plugin that comes by default with WordPress is called Hello Dolly and this is an invention of uh, Matt's that's one of the creators of WordPress and what it does is up the top here it displays um, lyrics from the musical Hello Dolly. Um, I am not a Hello Dolly fan by any means, I'm a Wizard of Oz girl, so what I do is I just check that box next to Hello Dolly and I'm going to delete it. I don't need to delete it, but I like to have a very clean WordPress site that only has things on it that I'm using. I don't like excess clutter, so I've got rid of it. So that's how we activate the default uh, plugins that come with WordPress. So let's install one of our own now. And the one that I'm going to install, I've got from the WordPress plugin directory, which addresses uh, WordPress org extend which is that tab there, uh, and then you go to plugins. And as I said, there's a few thousand plugins. You could spend weeks or days uh, in WordPress just looking at the amount of plugins that people have created. They've got something for everything. And the plugin directory doesn't have every single plugin for WordPress. It only has ones that are released under the GPL license or have been approved by WordPress. So plugin I'm going to use is called One Click Plugin Updater. And this is one of my very favorite plugins because it saves me heaps of time. Remember earlier when we <coughs> connected to our FTP client in order to upload our new theme? Well, with One Click Plugin Updater, it's a plugin where I don't have to go to my FTP client in order to um, install new plugins or in order to change themes. So if I just install this one plugin, um, I can kiss my FTP goodbye unless I really, really need to use it to change permissions or something like that. So all I'm going to do is download this plugin by clicking the download link over here. I'm going to save it to my desktop and then I'm going to go to my FTP client and this will be the last time I need to go there unless I do something that requires me to personally connect to my web server. Now I've connected to my web host and I'm going to install the one-click plugin updater um, in my root of my domain. The reason I'm not doing it on the 
directory domain that I just installed the theme on is that that's only a demo site for me and what I really want is this one click to be on my main WordPress site. Um, of course I could put it on the demo site as well, I'm just too lazy to. Okay, so I'm in my site, Niches Monthly, which because it's on shared hosting, I access through my public HTML file. Depending on your web host, you might access that through www file instead. If you're ever uncertain, you should ask your web host. Um, so I'm in Niches Monthly. Now I need to go to the WP Content folder and I need to click on that to open it up. And again, drill down further to my Plugins folder. And there's that hello uh, file that I deactivated and deleted out of the plugins uh, dashboard. I'm actually going to delete this off my website as well because I, as I said, I really like a clean site. You don't need to do that, of course. It's just one of my little um, obsessive compulsive type things. Um, so there's a plugin directory. And over here is my desktop again. And you can see here that I've got this one click plugin updater. And see how it's got the little plus sign next to it? That means that there's another folder inside there. And some plugin creators, you've got to be a little bit careful. They do what's called nested folders. So they'll have one folder called One Click Plugin Updater, but the actual plugin is in another folder called One Click Plugin Updater. So you need to open it up. And if you don't open it up, um, then it won't undo itself properly because it's nested. Most usually are just in the one folder, but I've used this plugin many a time and I know that there's a little trick with it that you have to go into the inner folder in order to get it working. So I need that little inner folder and that's why I've just clicked on there so the inner folder will display here and that's the one that I'm going to upload. So we can see the one click plugin updater has uploaded itself to the plugin directory in our WordPress theme files, WP content file, sorry. Um, now we can just go back to our WordPress dashboard and activate the plugin. So I'll just pause the video while I exit FileZilla. Okay, I'm now back in my plugins dashboard and we can see there's a kismet that's already activated and here's our one click that we've just uploaded and to activate that all I need to do is I can either check the box and click the activate button or I can just click the activate link. And there we have it. We've got two plugins now activated. And to give you an example how one click uh, works, now that that plugin is installed, there's a new heading up here called Install a Plugin, which just means that I can now install from a URL. So if I had a website address, I could type that in and say whether it's a plugin or a theme or for it to automatically work it out. Or I could just browse and look at what I've got on my local computer and upload that way. So remember that puzzled theme that we had uh, downloaded earlier? There we go, there it is. And that's in a zip file. So I don't even need to unpack this to install it on my root uh, domain. I can just click on that, click open. And it's not a plugin, it's an actual theme, this one. So choose from the drop down menu and now I'll just click install. Now this is the root domain that I'm working on this time so um, the theme wasn't installed on that one it had the default theme on it and it'll tell me here we've got the success message that the theme puzzled was installed successfully and I can view the installation if I want to or I can just go over to design and yep there it is and I can just activate that by clicking on it. That's the preview that we couldn't see earlier. And I'm going to activate that for Nisha's monthly. So now when I have a look at it, how easy was that doing that just with one click rather than connecting up to your server? And you only need to do that once and you can install all your plugins and themes that way. So now my Nisha's monthly has the puzzled theme on it. And my Nisha's monthly demo also has it on one click. Best plugin that's ever been invented, in my opinion. Um, in the next video, we'll write a page or a post.